Welcome to Millennial Crypto Investing. Thanks for tuning in. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Um, today we're going to be talking about should I buy cryptocurrency? And if you're here watching this video, that means you're contemplating whether or not you should make an investment uh, in crypto, what crypto is. You know, you have a lot of questions in your mind about it, but your interests have been peaked. And I really appreciate you tuning in to watch this video. And I've been into the crypto space for quite some time now. Um, I've made a lot of money. I've lost a lot of money. And so this channel is all about trying to save you money, save you time, and maximize your gains in the market. So let's dive right in and let's get to the answer that you all have on your minds right now. Should I buy cryptocurrency? Let's take a look at cryptocurrency. Um, let's take a look at Bitcoin. This chart goes back to <clears throat> 2015. Now, Bitcoin has been out a little longer than that, roughly around 2010 uh, is, is inception. Um, but I want to take, take you over to this look at this chart. And you may not be familiar with a, a chart at all. Um, if you aren't, this is a candlestick pattern chart. And so um, we're looking at the weekly time frame right here. And so every one of these candles represents one week. So with Bitcoin, it's uh, the first cryptocurrency. That's why it's the most popular, also the most expensive, also the higher, highest market cap. Um, however, there are literally thousands of other cryptocurrencies out there. And um, but Bitcoin's the granddaddy of them all. Bitcoin, if Bitcoin goes up, then the whole market goes up. If it goes down, you know, pretty much the whole market goes down. It does drive the market for the time being. Um, but right now, I want to try to address just a basic question that you have. Should I buy cryptocurrency? And I want to take you just back to 2015. And at 20, in 2015, Bitcoin was trading at um, between $350 and $100, you know, $150, give or take, you know, over the several weeks time frame, as you can see here. Now... When I first start, started investing in crypto, and I would look more of like an hourly time frame, and so I would be looking at every little up and down, and you know, which which you know, little is relative to what you're talking about. Um, so here we have like a 25 percent climb up to all time highs, and then shortly thereafter, I'm sorry, this is not all time high. This is a little bit earlier on. We're looking at an hourly chart. Uh, nevertheless, same concept. What I'm basically just giving you a very, very <clears throat> rudimentary um, introduction to crypto and why you should buy it. Uh, let me just make a quick disclaimer. This is not financial advice. Uh, I do encourage you to do your own research. And um, this is just for educational and enter entertainment purposes only. But um, as you can see, a lot of up and down movement here. Um, what you call volatility very volatile crypto is very volatile it is um a lot more volatile than stocks uh recently facebook uh which was rebranded to meta um had a 25 to 30 percent correction or dip in the market which was actually one of the worst in history for a stock however that's nothing abnormal for crypto however you have the potential to make literally thousands of percent of return on your investment within months sometimes weeks and in in some cases days but there are risks involved, and that's the case with any investment. Any investment, there are risks involved. And I want to alleviate some of those concerns you may have. Um, I want to be frank and honest. That's what this channel is all about. It's dedicated to you to try to help you um, avoid making the same mistakes that I and many, many, many other traders and investors have made in this space. Um, my goal is to try to save you some time, money, and heartache and try to uh, make you the most money on your uh, investment. And <clears throat> even though this is not financial advice, 
it is for educational and entertainment purposes only. So let's jump back into the topic at hand. Bitcoin, right here on a weekly time frame. Every candle is a week. Now, if you obviously can see that no matter the ups and downs through the market, no matter the ups and downs through the market, Bitcoin always has went up. Okay. Now, the the key to buying crypto or any asset for that for that matter is you want to buy low and sell high. It's the ABCs of investing. Period. Any asset class. Um, <clears throat> so as you can see, if you practically if you bought anywhere on what is called a trend line here, and it, the trend line is just a gra uh, just kind of a rough. Um, line that basically shows you the the general direction of of something. Um, they're used also you know, to um, show you support and resistance. But you know those are advanced topics. I'm trying to keep it simple here for you guys. Um, but as you can see here, anytime you were to acquire Bitcoin on or near this trend line, even if you was to buy it at a peak. Even at this massive peak back in 2017 in November, December, even if you were by it there, let's let me show you how Bitcoin can change your life. And I don't mean Bitcoin, but cryptocurrency in general can tr ch change your life. And I want to take the number of ten thousand dollars and use it. As a little bit of framework to give us an idea of what kind of money can you really be looking at making in the space of crypto, um, but let's 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 look right here because this is an absolute crazy spike in the, in the price of Bitcoin, and you definitely don't want to buy these peaks. You definitely don't want to buy these peaks. However. In many cases, new investors in this space, because it's so new, um, and there's a lot of hype surrounding it, a lot of news, a lot of um, uh, peers that, that talk about it, and a lot of commercials, just, just you know, so if you enter the space and you don't even know what a trend line is, or you don't understand what FOMO is, which is fear of missing out. I mean, it's very typical to to you know follow the hype and buy you know here in these in these regions. Um, but it's a big no no to buy in these regions. However, even if you did, the key is to buy and hold. Okay, but let's imagine. Say you picked it up here and you and and you made a ten thousand dollar investment up here in this rank at the top, and it dropped down. Um, 80%. So if you put in 10 grand and in a one year's time, roughly, it went down to $2,000. I think your wife would kill you because she sure would me. But what you got to realize is that as long as you held on to Bitcoin during that time frame and did not sell it, even at buying that massive peak today, today you would still <clears throat> have doubled your money in this current market dip today. You would still turn 10000 into 20000 <clears throat> Now, you would have done that actually back uh, on December, in, around this, the range of December. You would have hit the 100% hit the gain mark. Um, and so we're talking about, you know, uh, worst case scenario, you know, you had to wait two years to double your money. Now, that is phenomenal compared to the returns you typically see in the stock market. In the stock market, uh, mutual funds, hedge funds, um, typically you see about 12% gains per year. So if you, even if you bought it, top right here you had to wait a full two years man look a hundred percent gain that is uh let's see a quick calculation about eight years of gains in the stock market that is the potential and power of cryptocurrency to change your life now however if 
you jump into this space and you gain some knowledge and wisdom and information, which you're doing right now watching this video, you know not to buy in these regions. You know to buy as close to this trend line as you possibly can. And if you do that, if you would have said no, you know, if you would have, uh, that person that we were uh, talking about, hypothetically, um, if they were to understand that basic concept, I said, no, nah, I'm going to wait on a correction. And they would have wait and bought, waited and bought here. Then moving to that same position, my friend, you would not be looking at 100% gain, but over 1100% gain. That means your ten thousand dollar investment in um, right at about two years would have brought you a hundred and ten thousand dollars. A hundred and ten thousand dollars off of ten dollar ten thousand dollars in a two year time frame. That's the power of crypto. So. <clears throat> Just looking at this chart alone, you can see that even with all the volatility in the market, all the highs and lows, the ups and downs, um, and one of the rule of thumbs you hear often in the space is when in doubt, zoom out. And so this is as far zoomed out as you could get. This is, I mean, other than looking at a monthly time frame, this is as far out as you can get. But as you can see, it only ever always goes up. Yes, there are smaller movements within the larger movement. However, as long as you buy, enter your position along or close to this trend line, you're going to be in really good shape moving forward, my friend. Now, let's compare cryptocurrency to other advancements in technology, in industry, and in finance even. And we'll start with finance. You see, back since ancient times, money, uh, well, you were, you traded with um, commodities. You know, you traded your, your vegetables, your grains, your, your cattle, your livestock. Um, you traded gold, silver, um, jewels. Um, that's what we traded with. So <clears throat> from ancient times, you know, money was just, the money was non-existent. There was just bartering using commodities and then um even the united states uh, the empire of rome was their finance their e economy was based on um you know like a precious metals um framework you know it was based on gold it was based on silver it was based on copper and <clears throat> back in uh i think it was the 70s and i believe it was nixon that took us off the gold standard that's when we moved to a fiat currency which is the US dollar and cash money and so um, you use cash to make all your purchases your investments were, were done in cash through a, through a bank and then we moved out of that phase into uh, credit cards and debit cards and <clears throat> now we have the new form of uh, currency and it's cryptocurrency now not to get long winded in this video i want to keep it really simple so and i and i will be producing more content on this stuff starting with the basics to help you succeed in this space if you haven't done so already please hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe to the channel that way you're getting all of the updates when i put out a video so that i can help you grow in the space so i'm going to be trying to put out a video every day and the quality of the videos will increase as as well as your learning now let's compare it to uh technology as far as like radio so when radio came out that was a big thing then it went to t television and then television went to computers and um and then let's also look at uh, uh telephones the old timey telephones with a cord and then you had pagers and you had uh car phones and then you came out with cell phones which were just flip phones and then to trump that they came out with smartphones and as you can see you know even even if you look back at engines you know you had steam engines then you had gas 
uh, gasoline engines, and now you have electric engines. As you can see, uh, as time marches on, so does the technology. Okay, and when Web One, which was the very beginning of the internet, came out, you had a lot of naysayers. You had a lot of people that didn't even believe, you know, it was going to go anywhere. It was going to do anything. They didn't understand it. They was, they was, you know, confused by it. Um, and then you had Web 2.0, and you had the major boom with like Amazon and and eBay start popping up, and you see the progression and the and the massive gains that. Amazon put on and that eBay has and Apple <clears throat> and so here we are at the next phase of technological advancement we're looking at web 3 okay web 2.0 is what we currently use but web 3 is the next step in the space and it will be powered by blockchain technology okay alongside of that is cryptocurrency which is based on the blockchain, uses the same technology, and the two go hand in hand. So yes, my friend, cryptocurrency is the future. Um, and while you may say, man, you know, is it too late to buy? You know, when Bitcoin was at $200 or $50, you know, and now it's at $40,000, I'm going to tell you right now that you are still early. The fact that you're here watching this video today should give you a lot of hope that you're very, very early. Now, here's what I'll say about investing in Bitcoin. Uh, you and I are probably aren't rich. And um, we'd probably be lucky to, I couldn't even afford one Bitcoin, <laughs> you know, to be honest with you. Um, but there are so many other cryptocurrencies out there. There are a lot of projects. And I'll be, you know, throughout the course of this uh, series of videos I'm putting out, I'm going to be walking you through a lot of the basics, a lot of these tools and websites that you can go on and check out and utilize them to maximize your uh, education um, as we learn together, as you learn on your own. But <clears throat> this is a great site, one of my favorite, one of everyone's favorite in the space called CoinMarketCap.com. And this basically gives you a rundown of almost every single coin out there. Um, and you can do a lot of sorting, a lot of filtering. But, you know, right here we're looking at uh, starting with rank number one, which is Bitcoin. And the first thing you need to understand when you're when you're thinking about investing in a project is understanding what market capitalization is. And market cap is, and tell you right here, the total market cap value or market value of a cryptocurrency circulating supply. It is analogous to the free float capitalization in the stock market. market Market cap equals the current price by circulating supply. So, but uh, to keep it real simple, the market cap, basically, the higher the market cap, the higher the price. All right. Now, say, for instance, um, BNB here, we, for BNB to go from 400 to $800, you would have to see this market cap number double. That means another $67 billion would have to pour into BNB for it to double in price. Um, if you go on down the, the list here, you got Terra Luna, um, for Terra Luna to double and go to a hundred and four to hundred and four dollars roughly um that would have that number would have to double do we'd have to be looking at like a 41 uh billion dollar market cap so that's the basics of understanding market capitalization that's a big thing to look at so if you're looking for maximum gains you want to go down and you want to find some of these earlier projects um that are solid um, and they are still potentially to a certain degree early. You know, so you can still see some really good returns on your investment in some of these smaller market cap projects versus um, something like Bitcoin, which some of the uh, biggest financial experts in 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 finance period um, have very very um, very high predictions for Bitcoin and I believe you know the Bitcoin in the in the next several years can see a hundred two hundred three hundred thousand dollars um, as more and more capital flows into this space uh, so you know yes it will double it will triple but <clears throat> if you uh, and that's the thing too you got to think about when you're investing in Bitcoin coming out in 2010 uh, 2011 roughly somewhere around there um, is that it's the same with any technology like the older the technology doesn't mean it's the better um, it's quite the opposite actually um, if you're looking for a store of value Bitcoin is great if you're looking for uh, you know really fast 
um, uh, fast speeds. You're looking for great utility. You're looking for um, very, you know, advanced uh, development. Then you want to look at kind of newer products, uh, projects, and you know, go do some research on um, why that is. You know, um, but you know, that's a, a video for another day. And so right now, I just want to keep it really simple and answer your one question that you came to this video with: Should I buy cryptocurrency? This is not financial advice. However, I personally own cryptocurrency. Almost all of my money is in cryptocurrency. It is the future. You will see massive games in the years ahead. And right now, you are still early. I'm still early. There's still a chance to make massive amounts of money. And the key to it all is very simple. Buy low, sell high. Only if you need to, but if you buy hold, buy low and hold for the long term, um, you're going to be sitting pretty nice. But I really appreciate you watching this video. If you made it this far to the end, <clears throat> if you have any questions or comments, even um, please drop a comment in the comment box below. I will return. I will reply to that comment. And um, like I said, please hit the like and subscribe button. I'm going to be bringing more content your way. And if you have any suggestions or advice or anything you'd like to know more about, man, please go ahead and, and comment below. And I will respond to you and I will make a video based on exactly what you're you're wanting to know. If I can't answer the question directly in the box. Um, God bless you guys. Good luck in your journey. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.